All right, guys, which map are we feeling tonight? Ooh, how about the one with the girl? I always have good luck on that one. You know what? Never mind. I'll just pick a new one. We need a fresh start tonight. Oh, come on, Donald. Hey, wait a minute. Didn't we set this up as a private party? Who's that random guy in the lobby? Oops, my bad. Must have forgotten to select the private room. Classic Donald, always leaving the door wide open. Next time, let's make sure we keep our gatherings exclusive. We don't need any surprise guests. Unless they're bringing pizza. Always welcome surprise pizza. I have no idea what this map is, but I'm sticking with Bush. We'll head straight to the top. All right, Joe, lead the way. Just don't get us lost. Fine by me. Obama, you and me are teaming up then, and I guess we've got the silent guest with us, too. Sounds like a plan. And hey, if the silent one turns out to be a pro, then we've hit the jackpot. Just watch out for friendly fire, Barack. You know what? Never mind. Just go first. All right, Donald, stay behind me. We'll clear this room by room. Got it. I've got your back. Someone open this goddamn door. I want to kill some Iraqi. Don't worry. I'm on it. Let's go. Let's go. Tango down. Room's clear. Joe, slow down. We need to approach this tactic. No time, George. We need to take the high ground. Those two are going to get us all killed. Focus, Donald. We've got our own problems down here. Make sure you give him a good old slap from Uncle Joe. That felt oddly satisfying. Good job, George. We got him. Nice teamwork, gentlemen. Now let's extract and call it a day. I have to admit, that slap was a nice touch. Hey, who the hell just tased me? Maybe it was the silent guest trying to communicate. He's probably saying, welcome to the party, Donald. Well, that's one heck of a welcome. Next time, just say hi. Note to self, don't stand next to Donald during a mission. Or maybe just don't bring a taser at all. Where's the fun in that? Oh, wow, this one's a villa. You know Fancy. Perfect. Something a bit more upscale for once. Fitting. Looks like there are multiple entrances and probably a lot of rooms to clear. This won't be easy. We should probably split up again, but this time let's stay in communication. Don't want to get caught off guard. Okay, change of plans. Let's keep the team tight. Yep, we go down. in as a unit, Outside. see this what we're Shadow dealing with, and then adapt. Sounds reasonable. Roger that. The and Bush, maybe noted. you can show off your swimming skills some other time. Fair enough. But if we encounter a pool, I'm diving in. That's the spirit. But remember, this is a villa. They might have all sorts of surprises in store for us. Just drop the weapon. Holy shit, that was a perfect move, not gonna lie. I would not like to be the terrorist. Maybe I missed my calling as an elite operative. You've definitely got the showmanship down, that's for sure. Just be sure you don't throw a Twitter tantrum if things don't go your way next time. Oh, Bush, always with the jokes. But seriously, if I were a terrorist seeing our squad in action, I'd pack up and leave. Hey, Donald, maybe after this we can enroll you in some advanced tactical training. Seems like you've got a knack for it. I'd be up for that, as long as they don't mess with my hair. All right, let's handcuff these motherfuckers and move. We don't have all day. Bossy Bush is back in action. I like it. Keep an eye out. Roger, We've cleared this area, but there could still be surprises. With our team, there's always a surprise. Just wait until Clinton arrived. This will They're be down. a nightmare. Oxide, True, now come on, three. find the rest. Suspect the mission killed. isn't over yet. Damn, Roger, this place is huge. I wouldn't mind living here. Aren't you supposed to be a millionaire already, Barack? Well, a few million more wouldn't hurt. Who wouldn't want a villa like this? Though it might come with unexpected terrorist guests. You just have to make sure to change the locks, Joe. Oh, I can see the headlines now. Four ex-presidents start elite security firm. We'd specialize in dealing with unexpected house guests, particularly the unruly kind. Our slogan could be presidential protection. We've got you covered. Well, most of us know our way around there pretty well. Speak for yourself, some of us more than others. Reminds me of when Joe built his own computer after a lot of crashes playing Escape the Backrooms. Don't Damn, we were so aggressive back in the day. Hey, I followed that YouTube tutorial you sent me, Barack. It looked legit. I thought it was, but I'll admit I never expected you to take the download more RAM part seriously. Or the fact that you used actual bottled water for liquid cooling. I thought it would give it a more natural cooling effect. I mean, it made sense at the time. At least you didn't put it in rice to fix it. That was my move when my phone got wet. Note to self, never send Joe any more tech advice. Bro, is it just me, or does this guy look a tad like Elon Musk? I mean, if Elon decided to wear a bulletproof vest and skip his daily Tesla meetings, maybe. Maybe he's testing out a new Neuralink feature, real-life video game participation. Oh, or maybe it's research for a new Tesla model. The stealth, silent but deadly. All right, all right, let's not spread any conspiracy theories. But if my car starts Understood driving Lord itself squad, tomorrow, I know who to blame. Ready. As long as it doesn't drive itself to Mars, I think you're good. 
All right, I'm coming back inside the house, guys. Finally, took you long enough. Did you get distracted by the fancy cars in the driveway? Maybe I was just admiring the architecture. Ever think of that? Not everything is about luxury, you know? Oh, so now he's an architect enthusiast. What next, Donald? Going to design your own mansion? One with gold toilets, no doubt. Damn, Donald, can't believe you went down like that. You truly suck, man. You better shut up, Bush. Besides, remind me again, what's that name you're using? Mohammed Mulod, trying to go undercover or something. It's my gaming alias. You guys are absolute dumb fucking bastards. If I wasn't wearing heavy armor, I'd be dead. Come on, Bush, mistakes happen. Besides, it was just a little pistol. A little one? That was a freaking shotgun, Joe. Well, maybe if you didn't run ahead like a bull in a china shop, you wouldn't get shot at. And you Obama think I haven't noticed you shooting at me too? That was a misfire. Besides, I was aiming at the enemy, mostly. Mostly. I was the only one in front of you. Well, you see, the lighting in the room wasn't the best and... Okay. I might have gotten a bit trigger happy. My bad. Trigger happy, you nearly turned Bush into Swiss cheese. Yeah, with friends like these, who needs terrorists? Come on, Bush, we'll make it up to you. Next round, drinks on me. Sure, just make sure it's not another misfire of a drink. Roger hey, Joe, sure remember the last over. time you tried to buy a round? You accidentally ordered milk Understood. for everyone. Medical. Not the toughest look. Milk's good for the bones, Donald. Maybe you should try it sometime. Might help with that fragile ego. You know, Joe, sometimes I think you belong in a different era, ordering milk for everyone. Yeah, Joe, trying to keep us all youthful with that calcium intake? I've heard milk helps with memory, too. Maybe that's why Joe never forgets a game strategy. Hey, a president has to save where he can. But you know, next time, milk's on me. Oh, so generous. All right, team, let's focus up. And after this, first round of milk is on Biden. You know, with some cookies on the side. I was hoping for oatmeal raisin. Oatmeal raisin? Really, Donald? Well, we always knew he had unique tastes. Laugh all you want, but once you taste the perfect oatmeal raisin, you'll be converted. I'll be the judge. Nothing beats an unbiased Texan's opinion. All right, Mohammed Mulaud, about to pass on your dead body, Donald. Hey, careful with that, Bush. Might just end up stepping on one of those oatmeal raisin cookies I dropped earlier. If anyone could turn a cookie into a weapon, it's Donald. Next time, let's just bring a batch of those as our secret weapon. You guys are just jealous you didn't think of it first. With all those cookies and fast food, Donald, I still can't believe you haven't got diabetes. Good genes, Joe. Plus, I balance it out with all the Diet Coke. In any case, if Donald ever starts a diet, the stock market will probably crash. Copy it's called that. economic Continue influence, Barack. Ever heard of it? Oh, we've heard of it. It's just surprising to see it come from a cookie. A deadly weapon and an economic tool. Those cookies are something else. Don't hate the player, hate the game. I wonder how many civilians are left right now. Well, I bet some are hiding in a secret home theater room. You know, watching the latest reality show or something. Probably munching on some chips and wondering why there's so much noise outside. Charlie Mike. Or they're taking a swim, wondering why the water suddenly got warmer thanks to the action. Yeah, and here we are saving the day while they're living the good life. They better leave us some of those chips. And if they have diet soda, even better. Gotta watch my sugar. Still can't believe you haven't got diabetes with your diet, Donald. Let's just find these civilians and make sure they're safe, and maybe grab a snack while we're at it. Understood, Warden Squad. Transports are ready. Hey, is that a DJ setup over there? Maybe we can get some tunes going. I don't think that's a DJ setup, George. Just looks Understood, like high-end audio Squad. equipment. Transports. You know, for blasting music during those posh villa parties. I've heard your taste in music, George. Might be best to leave the beats undropped. Maybe it's best if we stick to the mission at hand. But hey, after this, you can show us all your sick beats back home. Deal. But don't come crying to me when you realize you've been missing out on my musical genius all these years. Why is it so eerily dark down here? You'd think with all this villa's extravagance, they... Bush, what's happening? Got ambushed. I'm dead. Welcome to the club, George. We have cheeseburger. Don't worry. All right, team. We're heading to where the 1% hang out. Expect up. everything from golden toilets to probably some tacky art. Well, if there are golden toilets, I'll know exactly where to go. Probably the only time you'll claim the 1% spot, huh, Donald? This place looks massive. Multiple floors, private rooms, maybe even secret chambers. Secret chambers? What are they hiding? The Holy Grail? More like their tax returns. Well, we're not here for that. 
We're here to clear the place and make sure everyone's safe. And maybe snag a golden toilet seat as a souvenir. Very funny, Joe. Just watch out for the art. It might be worth more than your entire campaign. All right, all right, enough of the jokes. Let's move out and stick together. It's just you and me now, Joe. Bush and Barack are probably off building another of their ridiculously oversized castles in Minecraft. To be fair, that game's addictive. Remember when we tried setting up that farm together? I still have nightmares about those creepers. Oh, don't remind me, we had enough wheat to feed an army and then boom, everything was gone. I told you we should have put more torches around. Joe, for once, can we have a game where you don't mess things up? Don't shoot me, don't walk into mines and don't- All right, fuck it, let's join the other on Minecraft.